Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today is the first in a three-part series of videos doing the Stars and Sparklers scrapbooking workshop. I thought it would be easier to make three shorter videos, so I'm dividing this into the three different two-page layouts. Um, this is one of the layouts that we'll be putting together today. I went through and cut all of the pieces that go with layout one. And I wanted to show you how that looks on here. These are the instructions that you will receive in your workshop. Um, and when you're going through and cutting with the cutting guide, the first thing you'll notice is there's a pair of scissors. Always a little pair of scissors. That means that is the first cut you're going to make. The other thing you want to watch is how they have the paper laid here, how they want you to put the front versus the back, and the orientation. Um, some papers have a definite direction to the pattern, um, and so you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that so that you're cutting your paper in the right direction. Um, I just went through then and you cut up all of the little pieces that have a one because that means layout one. And so these red pieces over here, those and these two pieces here, which would be this blue starry stuff. Um, and then I think a couple of zip strips and that's indicated oh, right here. So this will show you the zip strips that are at the top of our pattern paper. Sometimes those are used on layouts and the two for one are these little gingham red and white. I don't know, gingham, they're gingham. Then you turn to project one, and I went and just tucked everything into a page protector to keep it all together so I didn't lose any pieces. So I'm going to dig this out right now. The first thing that the instructions tell you to do is to, let's see, I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of here, this pattern paper, I'm gonna move that. And what it wants you to do is it wants you to take the little stencil that comes as part of the workshop, some texture paste, and it, it wants you to use Carolina Reinker. I have a Carolina pad, but I don't have the Reinker. I do have Bluebird, and I'm gonna give Bluebird a go. And what it's asking you to do is to take your stencil and to put a little bit of, um, that texture paste on your layout. And you do it on both of the layouts. So I'm gonna do the first page, see how that goes. So basically on the second half side, um, I do have the palette knife kit. That's really nice, that's Z4247. I kept forgetting to order these. And I'm so glad that I finally remembered. So first I'm going to, you're at about the halfway point. I also did pull out my, um, oh, it's, it's our craft mat. It's, uh, this is one that we sell. It's, I think uh, close to my heart is on the other side. Yeah, it's like this. But this is kind of a sticky side, so I put that sticky side down. But you can mix up all of your mixed media on this mat, and it wipes up, and it cleans up beautifully. I'm going to grab, because this page shows one of these big ones, I'm just using this as a bit of a guide so I know where to put my texture paste. I'm going to grab some out and put it out here. I doubt that you need a ton of it. It goes a long way. Put the lid back on so that you don't have uh, it drying out on you. And I'm just gonna do maybe two, two dots of, and I'm, like I said, I'm using the Bluebird. It's what I happen to have. I think it'll be just fine. Um, I could try just smooshing some of the Carolina ink pad on the on here, but I just don't know that that'll work very well. So I'm using a palette knife and I'm just kind of mashing it around and mixing it up. And I think that'll be just fine. I don't mind the color not being perfect. And it's showing here on the instructions, um, 
how to, let's see, I'm just going to go, I think it's looking like this. I think you can do it however you want to do it. So I think what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do the stars. And this is the white daisy 12 by 12 paper. And I'm holding the stencil in place with my fingers. I could put some washi tape or something down, but I'm being lazy. So I'm just going to wing it. And you take the edge of your palette knife and on the edge you scrape off the excess. And I'm just slapping it over there. And that's kind of fun. I'm going to wipe it off. I have some old baby wipes that dried up, so I just add water to them. And, and then I just have an old dirty rag that I use for wiping things up. Then it looks like down here on the bottom, it's using this big guy here. So I think, let's see. lay it down there and again I'm going to pick up a gob of the texture paste with and I'm going to get this star and I'm going to do this little star and then this big star get it all smooshed in there and again with the edge pull off your gob there That looks pretty good. Peel up the stencil and again I'm going to wipe it off. And you want to clean that off right away so your texture paste doesn't stick and harden on there. That's very important. Um, some people will get a little a little bucket or a little pail or something and with some water and they just toss it in there off to the side so it's soaking the whole time that they're still busy working. But I think that's it for, yes. And that looks pretty close. I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to pause the video right now, give this a chance to dry, and then I'll come back and we will continue to assemble. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape this up and clean up my mess. I just wanted to show you that you just take this and scrape it up so you get most of the big gobs up and then... Wipe off your palette knife, and like I said, these are old baby wipes that dried out. The package dried out on me. I'm getting it all over. Um, and they work well. You just add some water to them. These were non-alcoholic types. They didn't have alcohol in them, so they were safe to use on this kind of project. There we go. Ooh, going to have blue fingers. All right, I'll be back soon. Okay, I went and I punched everything out. This is uh, labeled Project 1. So these are all the pieces. I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to take some time to do a little bit of assembly of getting my placeholders on top of my um, photo mats. And getting my star put together, I've been kind of looking at that, trying to figure that out. <laughs> Sometimes there's trial and error involved. But right now I'm going to look at, ooh, I should look at how this is supposed to be. Is this horizontal, vertical? Horizontal. And I'm putting these on. One of them goes 
vertically. I don't know why I said that was horizontal. It's vertical. This is page one of layout one with the stickers and the little star accents. I did use glue because I find that they stick better if I glue them down. Um, they are adhesive backed and I don't know what it is. I sometimes struggle. <laughs> getting that adhesive to come off with those stars. Here is layout two, page two of layout one. Cute, cute, and cute. I just can't believe it. So this is video one in my three-part series featuring the stars and sparklers scrapbook workshop. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day. And I'll see you next time.